This was the scene for most of last week. This was taken on English Avenue between Constitution Park and McLaughlin Parade Field on Friday. Everyone in the region is dealing with what could turn out to be one of the coldest Februarys on record. Snow, ice, wind, and even sub-zero temperatures have made driving conditions in recent days less than fun. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also on this edition, speaking of driving, are you ready to get your teenager on the road? CYSS can help. The commissary is hosting another series of Cooking Matters tours and a message from MCOM on the civilian expeditionary workforce. Headlining our show this week, the process has taken several years, but soldiers from the United States Army Signal School Detachment, taking classes at the Defense Information School, are the first to move into renovated barracks. A ceremony to mark the transition was held on Thursday. We really wanted to hold this ceremony for three reasons. Um, primarily to just express our gratitude to those who made this happen, um, and then to showcase that just the quality of life improvement uh, for our soldiers, and then lastly just to kind of transition to a new chapter of of this student company. We have provided a much better place for soldiers to live uh, um, while they are here going to school at the Defense Information Schoolhouse and a better place to live will keep them better focused on their mission and job that they have here which is to train and educate themselves to then go out and perform the vital missions that they will execute when they get to their parent units. Company Executive Officer Angelos Katsaitis gave Me TV a quick tour of the new facility. These students, they're, they're just relaxing, they're enjoying their time here because, again, they're in initial entry training status and when they're not training, they get a, they get a small downtime, a small amount of time to just kind of relax and unwind and enjoy what we have to offer here. This is their kitchen, day, also an uh, extension of their day room area where they can come and get some snacks from the vending machines and also they have a fridge and microwaves that they're allowed to utilize. And so this is a typical room layout. Um, again, since this is the first floor, they have only two men per, but we are able to accommodate four men per with uh, bunk beds. All the rooms have their own bathroom and sinks. I think they have less time to focus on cleaning up the building. It gives them more study time. And then also they just have, a, like I said, a new environment to come back to and, uh, and relax. Elsewhere, Child, Youth, and School Services offers a driver's education training program for teens over 15 and a half that have already obtained their driver's permit. Here's more from CYSS program specialist Karen Surratt. Driver's education course is a two weeks course. Um, it's 30 hours classroom time, six hours of driving time behind the wheel. You have to be 15 years, nine months. It's $320 for the class. It runs at the teen center. You can be 15 years old and sign up for the class, but you won't be able to get behind the wheel until the 15 years, nine months, and you get your permit. You must have a permit, and parents must attend the first class. In other news, the commissary is hosting another round of the Cooking Matters Tour and Challenge. You can learn how to shop smarter and make healthier choices. We teach four basic skills. Uh, buying fruits and vegetables on a budget, um, let's, uh, reading food labels, recognizing whole grains and comparing unit pricing. We start off, it's a 45 minute tour, 45 minute to an hour tour. We start off in the produce section. We talk about buying seasonal fruits and vegetables. Uh, we talk about convenience foods um, and then comparing the unit pricing. The Cooking Matters tours end with a $10 challenge. It's free $10 that I give you to put together a meal for a family of four for $10 or less. It can be a little difficult, but most people have done very, very well. Um, a lot of families have used it as uh, challenging themselves, so a husband and wife team or a mom and daughter team, and they will, um, you know, challenge each other. But yeah, they they like they like doing it, so it's fun. Meanwhile, the Department of Defense is always in need of certain skill sets in overseas locations. Here's a message from Installation Management Command Deputy Commanding General Major General Warren Patterson on the Civilian Expeditionary Workforce. I'm Major General Warren Patterson, Deputy Commanding General of the U.S. Army Installation Management Command. MCOM is dedicated to developing agile leaders for Force 2025 and beyond. From humanitarian aid to installation support in the combat zone, the civilian expeditionary workforce is a critical part of the team. We need you and so do our soldiers downrange. Take the next step in your career development. Join the civilian expeditionary workforce. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.